After missing two weeks due to COVID-19 protocols, the Emporia State men hit the floor to take on the Lincoln Blue Tigers on Thursday night. Here we go! Lincoln started the game off hot, hitting five of their first six shots and taking an 11-0 lead before Emporia State's Austin Downing got the Hornets on the board with this three-pointer. Downing for a three, he hit it. Next possession for the Hornets, Ben Smith takes it down the lane for the two-handed jam. Ben Smith showing his athleticism. Emporia State takes their first lead of the game at 29-27 on this jumper by Jamari Turner. Next shot up and good, Jamari Turner. Later in the first half, Emporia State's Gage McGuire was elbowed by Lincoln's Say Witt. Hornet seniors Jamari Turner and Austin Downing were determined to have left the bench area and were ejected from the game. At the halftime break, Emporia State trailed Lincoln 40-32. In the second half, without Downing and Turner and also Brendan Van Dyke, who went down with a knee injury, the Hornets trailed by as many as 18. But they just kept cutting into the lead, and with just under five minutes to play, Marquise McCray hit a jumper to make it a single-digit game. The you know, second half comes out, we, the lead extends, but we found a way. To, to dig in and get some, get some timely shots. A bucket inside by Mayum Boom pulled the Hornets within four with 2.33 to play and then a huge three in the corner by Duncan Fort made it 76-75 Blue Tigers. And it's a one point ball game with a minute 10 to go. Lincoln responded with a triple of their own but Dallas Bailey had an answer. Another huge shot from downtown made it 79-78 Lincoln. Dallas Bailey with 13, 79-78, 27 seconds to play. The Blue Tigers hit one of two free throws, and Emporia State gets a few different looks to tie or win the game, but just can't quite get them to fall. Well, I, I'm, I'm really proud of our guys. I thought they competed at a very high level. We lost our two leading scores. We could have easily folded. We were down 18 points, and instead of folding, our team came back. They battled at a high level. We had four shots to either tie it or win it on the last possession. The Hornets have a quick turnaround as they head to Wichita to take on the Shockers of Wichita State in Coke Arena tomorrow. Tomorrow should be a big game for us. I mean, build the confidence, being able to go to a D1 arena and play uh, in between conference game. I think it's just a big game for everybody to be able to get on the floor and just experience that.